So in my 1981 Gulf of Sidra incident video, someone thought the text in the garbled up audio was saying the word fighter, when the pilot and the text were actually saying fitter. And Fitter is the NATO reporting name for the Sukhoi Su-17. And that got me thinking, I should make a video about NATO reporting names and the US DOD designations. So here we are today. And no, I'm not going to go over every single name. You can do that yourself because that's going to take too long. But I'll timestamp the video for your convenience. So keep your phone by you, go do your dishes or something. I'm just going to be talking and I'll show some pictures and stuff. So let's talk about the origins of where these NATO names come from. The Air Standards Coordinating Committee or ASCC. Basically the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand got together to figure out how we can identify Soviet aircrafts like we did with the Japanese in World War II. You know, the Zeeks, Tojos, and all those other planes. And in 1954, they adopted these code names. These code names for aircraft avionics, and I think naval systems like sonars, fire control radars, and whatnot. Even land-based systems like radars, of course, and ELINT equipment. But why? Why do we have these names in place? It's because the Russians like to keep secrets, that's why. So it's down to us to just name it something until we can actually get the proper name, but we'll still of course use the code name. I'm not too keen on talking about the submarines, so we'll just stick to what I have today. Now we need to clear up some confusion between the Russian and Soviet designations and the US DOD designations and the NATO reporting names. First, let's talk about the Russian Soviet designations first, Russian for brevity. So the Russians, they have a pretty basic designation system like we do. For example, R, it looks like P in Cyrillic. It is used for air to air and surface to surface missiles. And I'll use the Vimpel R-33 air to air missile as an example. So the R-33, that is the Russian designation, the original designation for that weapon. Next is the US Department of Defense designation, and this is separate from NATO, the AA-9er. And then we have the NATO code name, you know, everybody speaking the same language in NATO. It is AMOS, A-M-O-S, AMOS. So Russian, Soviet, is R-33, US designation, AA-9, NATO reporting name, AMOS. So now, it's time to learn your ABCs. The ASCC code letters, of course. And it's simple because it's supposed to be simple. So the first letter in each name indicates what kind of equipment it is. And I'll give an example after the meaning of each letter. So you've got A, that means air-to-air -air missile, atoll, B, for bomber aircraft, badger, C for cargo aircraft, <laughs> F for fighter aircraft, flogger, G for ground air missiles, gopher, H for helicopter, haze, K for air to ground missile, Karen, L for UAV, now I can't find any name for UAV, there is the P1 Peshadel or whatever it is, this thing but I don't know. M is just for miscellaneous stuff, aircraft that don't fall into any of those other categories, like the A-50 Briev or NATO reporting name uh, Mainstay, and that's a Russian AWACS. Or the IL-78 Midas, and that's a Russian tanker. And finally, S, ground-to-ground -ground missiles, sticks. And S is used for all ground-to-ground -ground missiles, whether they be naval, anti-ship, ballistic missiles, so on and so forth. Now something to note about the bombers, the cargo aircraft, and the fighters. If they are propeller driven, they are given one syllable names. Whereas if they were jet powered, they would be given two syllable names. For example, the Tu-95 Bear. It's propeller driven and Bear is one syllable. The Tu-22 Backfire. It's jet power, 
and backfire is two syllables. As for different aircraft and missile variants, they are given suffix letters. For example, the Su-27 NATO name Flanker. You've got the Flanker A, that was a prototype of course, and then you've got B, C, D, E, F, and G. And some of those variants have different names from Sukhoi, the manufacturer, of course, with different purposes, like the SE-33. That's a navalized flanker D. And I guess the ACSS didn't give them different names like Freddy or something, because they all look the same, and they all have the same chassis. Chassis is probably not the name I'm looking for, but I guess you get the idea. The same would go towards the MiG-29 and 35. Both are fulcrums, but the 35 is a fulcrum F. So the DOD letters have an alphabetical code consisting of two or more letters and a model number. And here they are. And I'll give an example along with the NATO reporting name as well. Starting with AA, air to air missile, as in AA-7 Apex. ABM, anti-ballistic missile. ABM-1, galosh. AS, air to surface missile, AS-10, Karen. AT, Anti-tank missile, AT-10 stabber. DR, drone, there isn't much I could find for drones, again. FRAS, F-R-A-S, and this is an unguided ASW rocket. Free rocket anti-submarine is what that stands for. An example would be the RBU-6000 system. FROG, F-R-O-G, this is an unguided artillery rocket, and it stands for free rocket over ground. These aren't your grad type rockets. These are big single rockets with a big warhead. Probably not that big, but a thousand pounds seems pretty big. SA, surface to air missile, SA-6 gainful. SA-N, naval surface to air missile. These are meant to be fired from ships. SA-7 gadfly. SL is a little weird. This is for really space. It's a space launcher. Uh, SL-1 Sputnik. It's not the NATO name, but it's the Glavo Cosmos name. SS, surface to surface. SS-11 Sago. SSC, surface to surface coastal defense missile. SSC-3 Styx. SS-N. Naval Surface to Surface Missile, SS-N-7 Starbright, SUW-N Naval Surface to Underwater Missile, SUW-N-1 or RPK-1 Vicar, there's not really a NATO reporting name for that. Something to note about the surface to air and anti-ballistic missiles, SA whatever number is often talking about the entire missile system complex, from the missile to the radar systems. Some final notes and some of my favorite NATO names that I've found. I'll make this one quick about the Chinese. We just had a C at the beginning of the DoD designations for the Russian stuff. That's all I'm going to say. The DoD has codes for research and prototype stuff and they abbreviate them and name them after locations around Russia. Okay, so the MiG-15. NATO reporting name I can't say because YouTube might get all mad and upset. I don't know why they named it that. I don't know why they gave the AN-22 that name. But the ACSS, man, they're, they're, they're something else. And that's really it. If you like what you saw, you can do whatever you want. But I am going to say my top 10 favorite code words. And here they are, starting with number 10, trash can. Number 9, flat face. Number 8, mouse roar. Number seven, Bob. Number six, Careless. Number five, MiG-15. You know why. I can't say the thing. Number four, Krusty. <laughs> Krusty. Number three, Big Bird. My favorite Sesame Street character. Number two, Midget. That might be offensive, I think. And uh, in number one, Big Bulge. I was playing CMANO and... When I saw this TU-95 looking at me with a big bulge radar, I was I couldn't stop laughing. I couldn't stop laughing. I'm so immature. I know. Like that part of me hasn't gone away. <laughs>